Hi everyone, this is Aya, and I'm here with my polyphasic sleep update. Um, I actually, oh yeah, well, I guess I should start by saying I dyed my hair black, and um, I guess you might not have recognized me. You like it? Okay, I hope so. Um, I really like it. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today, with some background music, because this is my favorite song right now, um, I wanted to talk about um, sleeping phases. A lot of people ask me, do you hit REM every time that you go to bed, you know? Um, do you get deep sleep? Somebody sent me an article snippet that sounded really bad that said, if you don't hit deep sleep, you're pretty much gonna die. And, um, <laughs> you know, it sounded like one of those really anti-polyphasic articles, the ones about, you know, from people who either weren't able to adapt or just never have even tried polyphasic sleeping. And those articles are always full of crap, if you ask me. Um, so, it, so I wanted to talk about it a little bit. There was a person on the polyphasic sleep, um, on the, uh, boards, on Gmail, on the Google boards, who said that they got night terrors on the fourth phase of their sleep. They had had a lot of sleep done, research done on them because they had these night terrors and they would constantly interrupt their sleep. So they thought that they would go Uberman and this would eliminate their night terrors. And it didn't. In fact, they would get it once every 24 hours, well, ish, 24 hours-ish, because what essentially happens, and or at least this is theoretical knowledge because nobody really knows because I haven't done any physical sleeping, I haven't, you know, hooked myself up to any kind of gauge or anything, but what essentially happens is your body goes through all of the phases of sleep, but instead of going through them all at once, it spreads it out between your naps for 20 minutes, it goes through them faster and harder than it normally did, and it learns to adapt. That's what the adaptation phase is about, is about adapting to only taking 20 minute naps during the day. Um, so, essentially, no, I don't always go into REM. I almost, actually, only two of my naps during the day do I have vivid dreams. One of them, I have such extremely vivid dreams. I feel like I've slept for eight hours. That's my noon nap. My noon nap, I have so strong of dreams. I mean, they're so long and they're so involved. I feel often, like, once I woke up and it was 12.30, and I looked at the clock and I thought that I had slept until 12.30 the next day. But then I realized, no, actually I didn't. It was actually the same day. Because my dream was that long and that involved. So that happens to me on my 12 nap. It also happens to me on my 6.40. Sometimes during uh, my, um, that's my 6.40 a.m. My 6.40 p.m. I almost never dream. Um, and I usually end up, um, it's just usually black. Uh, sometimes I even have a hard time kind of waking up. I think, oh no, I don't want to wake up. Or something like that. I assume that's because I'm in a deeper state. And my 2.40 a.m. naps, they're like, they're so light. I think that I'm in a, a much lighter state of um, sleep during those. I just go to bed and I pop back up and it's really, you know, light. Uh, my 10.40 and my 6.40 are much heavier. Um, so, yeah, I essentially do get deep sleep and I essentially go through REM when I need to. Um, sometimes it, it changes a little bit, you know. I think probably it's kind of like one of those every four nap things. This is not my favorite song. I'm gonna go back to it real quick. This song is so good. Okay, I discovered it last night and I've been listening to it like non-stop and it is called Together by The Kin and I saw it on Moonlight because I love that show. We watched a bit, we had a Moonlight marathon last night because Casey had to do her schoolwork so we weren't able to go out or anything. Um, tonight's karaoke night so I'm very excited. So essentially I want to tell you that. Another thing I wanted to talk about was putting off and putting back on naps. When you're adapting, it is so much better for you to be extremely strict. The reason it probably took me so darn long to adapt was because I was not able to be strict at, part, at parts. However, even me not
not being strict, I was able to fully adapt. So, you are too. Yes, you can put off naps. You can put them off, and you know, as long as you're at least an hour or two away from your next nap, take it. If you skip it, um, the first nap you skip will be fine. It'll make you a little weird. You might even get overtired and giggly, and that happens to me anyways, I get really overtired. Um, but, uh, if you skip two naps, it really sucks. Um, my family, when we get no sleep, we get jaundice in our eyes. Um, so like essentially, I once stayed up for 32 hours, I think, and I had jaundice in my eyes, so they were all yellow. And when you looked at them, they looked just completely yellow all across the white. Um, my twin had to skip two naps once, and that happened to her. She got jaundice because she was essentially skipping that much sleep because your body, this is not your nap time. It's not a nap time. It's a sleeping time. You must go to bed. When you tell people, oh, I'm going to go take my nap, they don't take it seriously enough. You gotta understand, this is the time that you sleep. This is your sleep, period. And you gotta make that completely clear with people because they, they will be like, ah, it's just a nap, let them skip it, you know. No, there is no skipping your naps. You have to take your naps. And when you're adapting, it's so much easier and I highly recommend being extremely strict about it. Um, after that, you, can, you, can have, you have way more leeway once you've fully adapted. Um, for example, like last week, I was at karaoke, and um, 1040 rolled around, and I said, you know what, I don't want to go, because I'm about to sing, and you know, a lot of my friends were there, and they were going to leave, and I was like, I'll just wait, and I waited till, you know, like 11, 20, 12, and it was fine. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Um, if I'd skipped it, I would have gotten really tipsy by the time it was, you know, 240, I would have been giggling my butt off, and... <laughs> rolling around, I get so overtired. Oh, I'm really susceptible to that too. But I've always been susceptible to overtiredness, so I guess what happens to you is probably different. So, so essentially, yes, you can put them off, you can move them around, you can skip them. But if you're adapting, I highly recommend being extremely strict. And once you're fully adapted, then you can start doing that. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go because uh, I've already been blabbering on for seven and a half minutes. And um, if you have any other questions, send them over. I hope I answered some questions for you today. And I hope you like my hair. <laughs> have a good one. Bye.